Queen's Park Rangers against Birmingham, both in a season of disappointment. For Rangers, so much a question of injuries, and into their team today for his first game is 20-year-old Andy McCulloch from Walton and Hersham, who only signed professional forms on Friday. And Birmingham, well, they made a fine start of the season, but they've slipped badly now. They look to Alan Campbell here to bring more drive in midfield, £80,000 from Charlton. Two other familiar faces, goalkeeper Mike Kelly, so recently with Queen's Park Rangers, and Roger Hind, recently with Crystal Palace. Hockey very aggressive, but Hazel coming away with it, finding uh, Venables in turn to Marsh. Faced by Robinson. Marsh with a shot, across the goal! And Kelly really had to get down to that one from Marsh. Taken almost from nothing, Rodney Marsh there. Ball still in play. Ron Hunt. And now Gillard. Marsh was calling for it, and a slip there allows Marsh to go in. A goal by Marsh. What a goal. Mike Kelly absolutely beaten. And Rodney Marsh puts Rangers ahead with five minutes gone. Well, there was a slip by Robinson, and Marsh really pounced on that one. One for McCullough to try and get under. Marsh now for Rangers. Played wide for Clement, what a good ball. Ricochet there, Marsh going in, oh, against the bar, the header, and a save by Kelly. That was very nearly a goal there, no, in fact, the whistle had gone. Good play by Marsh, and although the point was disallowed there, because it's a free kick, a very good reflex header by young McCulloch. McCulloch straining to get underneath that one. A missed kick by Beard, but he couldn't quite uh, get to it in time, and hockey corner. Hockey's rather firm back pass there, wide of Kelly. Well, certainly Mike Kelly's been pretty busy in this opening uh, quarter of an hour or so. Rangers leading by a golden hill, scored by Rodney Marsh. And now Mike Ferguson to the corner, Clement right up there, as you'll see. Marsh getting ahead to it! Oh, Rodney Marsh! A second goal to Marsh! 14 minutes gone. And from the corner, Rodney Marsh getting above everybody else to flick that ball so beautifully wide of Kelly for his second goal and Rangers as well. Gillard. Pumped in there for, by Thompson for Latchford. Surprising how much time Latchford was given. Summerhill! Oh, magnificent save! And a goal by Latchford. After one superb save by Fox, who must be very, very annoyed. Slack work certainly in the defence there by Rangers, allowing uh, Latchford in the first place so much time. Summerhill shot touchdown and Latchford making it 2-1. Campbell. Oh, good play there by Ferguson. Flick forward now for Morgan. He's got Marsh over on the right. Here's Marsh. And a tremendous break by Venables now. Oh, and a good... Is it a goal? It is! A goal by Venables, who ran like a hare. What a tremendous piece of football by Venables, running onto that pass by Marsh. And the power of his shot completely deceiving Kelly, who got a hand to it and couldn't save it. Mike Kelly, no wonder he shakes his head. Hockey, looking for somebody free and finds Vincent. Beard's gone outside him. Hockey. Still hockey. Beard right out there still, Malcolm Beard. A little chip through there for Summerhill, taken well on the body, twice, and past that goal, Latchford! Oh, a goal, and a good one! Beautifully made, though, by Summerhill for Latchford, his second of the game. What magnificent skills there on the touchline, on his body by Summerhill. Laid across there, and a simple enough task then for Latchford. 
Well, at this rate, with five goals in 20 minutes, we're going to need a cricket scoreboard to keep this match going, to keep uh, abreast of it. Here's Vincent. Good work by Vincent. Oh, and nearly there, creeping inside the post with Parks plunging across his goal from Vincent to push it aside. Summerhill across well, and Latchford, oh, within an ace of getting his hat trick and the equaliser for Birmingham City. He really is an opportunist, this fellow, in the six yard area. Venable shielding the ball well. Ferguson to pump it across again, and McCulloch goes in! So the new boy gets a goal, Andy McCulloch. And a very good header indeed. Well, there's no happier boy in football today than Andy McCulloch. Signed as a professional yesterday, and he still hasn't had his forms accepted by the league because they have to have 48 hours, so he's in this strange no man's land of being half amateur and half professional. But my goodness, he's amongst the goal scorers. Summerhill harried and hustled all the way by Clement and hustled into an error, and Ferguson is right there in the middle of it. Will it come through to Marsh? Oh, look at that for skill by Marsh! Oh, and what a goal! Rodney Marsh, his hat-trick! Oh, what incredible skill by Marsh! There really was no way through, and yet Rodney Marsh found a way through. And certainly Eusebio, in that number 10 shirt, couldn't have done better than Marsh.